Welcome back. Let's focus on a couple of stocks that are moving around. Varun Beverages came out with its set of numbers yesterday. Mangalam, how are the numbers and what's the read through? Well, the numbers were very good, Nigel, yesterday. And uh, they were good in the sense, the context, because everyone in the beverage space was worried about, uh, you know, weak out of home consumption. At the mm -hmm. same time, there was some competition, etc., as well. But despite that, Varun Beverages, India volumes grew by 5.7%. Yes, they were below what majority on the street were expecting. But then again, given the context, it was a lot better than what was feared as well. And as a result of which, we have brokerage notes that have come too. Uh, in the midst of muted consumption trends and unfavorable weather, Varun Beverages' 6% India volume, gro volume growth appears reasonable. That's not all. In fact, it was better with the recent forays in South Africa and uh, Congo for the international business as well. And the company, with growth, they've also shown margin expansion. Add to that, they've announced a QIP of almost 7,500 crores as well, which will help them repay debt, pursue some M&A and add capacities, basically strengthen their space in the marketplace itself. Uh, and on the Campa Cola, uh, you know, pricing itself, uh, there were questions in the conference call. The management said they're unfazed on price cuts coming in from Reliance's Campa, even though it is a formidable competitor. Competitor. So we have Jefferies, which have raised the target price from what 720 to 750 odd rupees, implying a 30 percent upside. And we have HSBC as well, which has a buy call and a target price of 770. So yes, there is some challenge in the beverage space. But despite that, Varun Beverages stands out and does better. Indeed. Uh, 